Hey, what's happening, guys? What's going on? I'm the super cool to drink dude, you know, dudes, and uh, to be true as always. And I have my friend, yes, Mr. C4 here, and uh, we are about to begin a another year. I can't believe it, man. A whole another year has flown by, and here we are presenting to you guys the new mystery flavor of Voodoo number four. Number four, look at that, look at them, them colors. We got, we got purple, we got some orange, we got some black. It's looking cool. Yeah, it's it's stacked on them cans, man. I love the creativity in these uh, that Mountain Dew seems to always keep bringing mm -hmm. to us. Dudes. But anyway, uh, just wanted to fill you guys in uh, real quickly. You notice know, anything different about this color, Corey? Like, every year, what does all four flavors have in common as far as the look? Well, it's all, they're all white. They're all white. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, out of sight. I mean, especially that damn white out. I'm glad it's out of our sight, right? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> that white out was no good. All right, but anyway, uh, getting on with things here. Um, you know, let's just recap and think back to when we had the very first mystery flavor of VD. As you guys all recall, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've been following the channel. And if you haven't, and you're liking what you see, be hit that like button down below and subscribe and also ring that bell for notifications. Yep. And uh, that way you'll be a sure in for receiving all these videos that I keep presenting to you guys. Yeah, the first flavor, what was it? Do you remember? Uh, Starburst. 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 It was a Starburst orange. The second year was a... Skittles. Skittles orange. So they had this orange thing going on, yeah. right? So it's no surprise that It's like orange Starburst, orange Skittles, yeah. basically. You know, and then, then last year you had Sweet Tarts. Sweet Tarts. Sweet that was tarts a good one. It was the best flavor I think it by was far. Sure. Because they finally got through with the plain... Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad orange flavor because it was Starburst and it was Skittles. But they finally figured that we need to change it up. And last year was, was absolutely yeah, on top. It. It was really good flavor. All right, so uh, we're gonna try out this one now, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you this can. Ain't no way I'm gonna be uh, drinking this drink. Eh? Not today. Uh, not today. Yeah, not the zero sugar. Man. Yeah. Ugh. No, we like real sugar in this. Real house. sugar, man. All right, and you guys, in case you guys are wondering, obviously I have my Cobra Kai shirt on because season five just dropped. Yep, and, and it's exciting. To you guys, I know y'all. Uh, he says it's good. I haven't dude, watched it yet. I boosted it. I boosted the first day it came out. I had to go see them all on Netflix that night, Friday. But anyway, also, in case you have, and I'm sure if y'all have seen Cobra Kai Season 5, then I know you're well aware that Chosen is back, and he had these on the show. And I came across these as I was cleaning out my RX-8 and it's been a minute since I've handled these. Yeah, those are a real deal, man. You don't want to mess with those things. <laughs> the Chosen was a you badass. Yeah, he was an absolute badass in the show and I enjoyed the way he kept, like, I mean, he used these in the, in the series, so it was really mm -hmm. cool. And I thought, okay, well, hey, this is, uh, this is great because, you know, hey, it just makes uh, sense to just show, show these off to y'all and, uh, you know, let y'all be, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, knowing that hey, season five is finally here and uh, you better go check it out or otherwise I'll go send, send out for Chosen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, well, on with the show. So... Here we go. I'm going to open this, open bad, this boy bad boy up. It's chilled. I'm really, I'm excited. I haven't tasted it yet. No so. need for ice, guys, because it is ready. And uh, we are going to rock this awesome number four of Paradise. Oh, yeah. Get right there. Oh, oh, man, look at that. One for you, and I'm going to put mine in here. So I'm trying to smell it. Like, it smells almost like the other ones in a way. Yep, it has that citrus it has, orange. It has that, that voodoo kind of smell. smell about it. Hmm. Well, I mean, think about this one. We know it's not Starburst, and we know it's not going to be Skittles orange. Because they can't repeat that, because that would just be wrong. It kind of mimics last year's in a way, but it's different. It's, 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 it kind of has that, that sweet tart flavor, but it's like a... I want to say it's like an orange sweet tart. I think last year's was like more of like a blue kind of sweet tart. This one's kind of orange. I, I think you're onto something there, dude. As a matter of fact, that's the way I, I re realized. That's how I figured it out. I think yeah. Mountain Dew knew how popular last year's was, dude. That sweet tart was like phenomenal. It was yeah. the best 
I'm Definitely like sweetheart. I like I love the color. I like yeah, blue is my favorite color. So I I, I like the can. I like the flavor. I like everything about last year's man. And I hope they bring the sweethearts back out because that would be so super dope. But yeah, bro, I'm feeling the same vibe as you are. I think just because of last year's success that we had with the sweet tarts, that Mountain Dew decided, you know what? Let's go back. Let's get back to that orange sensation again and let's bring it out but let's make it orange sweet tart so there's my final thought on the flavor i think he already summed it up by the, by the first that was my first taste taste he's never ever had this drink and i have to tell you guys honestly you know i'm the super point drink dude i'm gonna definitely give you that true review that you're all looking for and tell you what i believe about this taste and, and you know, how I how I regard it. So, in all uh, honesty um, and being 100 about it, it's it's an orange sweet tart by far. And what we rated on still ten? Man. What are you gonna? I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, as far as creativity goes, I think just because Mountain Dew knew they had a successful flavor last year, they decided that they were just gonna make this the orange chalky sweet tart that it is and turn it into juice form. And there you have it. I can't remember what we gave last year's, but I, I like I like last year's better. I'm I, I gave that. I gave last year's a ten. I can't forget about that, man. So I think I'm gonna roll. I, this one ain't too bad. Don't get me wrong. Like, no, I, it's it's drinkable. No, I mean I'll drink it. I'm, I just I don't think I'm gonna go gung ho crazy for it. I don't. I'm yeah. Not gonna, I'm not gonna get out there and, and buy bottle after bottle after bottle about every case or case after yeah case. within every week. I'm not gonna. Do so we that. we gave I guess we gave it a ten last year. It was really good. And I loved. It. I actually bought a lot of them. But, but and, yeah, sweet um, tarts. We went through cases of those. I'm probably gonna give this. one. I'll be honest. I'm probably gonna give this one like a seven and a half, seven point five, seven and a half. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it quite matches last year's. And, no, and then I'm doesn't. taking points off too because it's basically like last year's flavor, but just an orange flavor. Yeah, and I, so it's like I'm not keen to orange. No guys. real, there's no real creativity in this year's I'm, flavor. It should have been something different. It should have been something different. Uh, I mean. You want to go out with something kind of like catchy Mountain Dew? I think maybe we need like a pumpkin pie flavor. What about that? They need to. They just need to take and figure out what's some of the most popular like Halloween candy that they can put in a drink besides Skittles, Starburst, mm-hmm. and a Sweet Tart. Mm-hmm. I mean, so essentially, if you want to stick with the orange theme, I'm not a hundred percent in agreement with you. But if you choose to go that path. Mountain Dew, I, I think you'll be better off with something that relates to the Halloween theme. Like, I know you know, bro, like, you can go to McDonald's, and, I mean, I haven't been lately, but... I'd rather have another skill flavor of Starburst. Well, I mean, well, I mean, we can't repeat that. You can't repeat no, that. No, but, but if you're going to go and repeat flavors, you might as well just choose one of those, because they were in the way better. It could those. have been like another orange, like an orange candy. Just a different orange candy, you know, that's popular. Like, it don't have to, it, it can't be Skittles, and it can't be Starburst. I'm thinking, Star like, Wars. what candy could the next flavor be? Like, I mean, they hinted last year's was going to be like a green apple, but yeah. we didn't get that. And that turned out we to be We did get thrashed, thrashed apple, apple. but that, that ain't... That ain't. Dude, that was a dud. I mean, it was. It's all right, but I'm I not can drink it. it, but I don't. I haven't bought that drink since it came out that yeah, like exactly. year or so ago. So I'm not like a major fan. I mean, I liked it all right. It was. It's just not something you're gonna go back after and yeah. over and over. And, yeah. You know. Um, but I mean, yeah, dude, I just, I feel the same way about this whole thing. Um, and I'm just going to give you... Maybe they could do like a red licorice flavor, you know, like something different. Or they could give us a black licorice flavor. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Well, like... I'm a big... Bro- oh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Uh, you know, if you're a fan of like the black licorice, you know, I mean... Uh, I mean, I'm thinking in terms of Halloween because you want like dark colors, you know, like black, black licorice should probably match. Um, I mean, candy corn flavor. I mean, that would have been corn. candy corn flavor would have been probably good. What if they did like a Tootsie Roll? You can. I'm sure like, they can make it happen. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take remember, a chocolate drink. I just you know, know. You gotta make it good. I wouldn't even make it chocolate or make a fruity Tootsie Roll. They well, got, they, got that's fruity, what I'm they got fruity Tootsie Roll. They had that orange Tootsie Roll. I mean, if you want to do something like rolls. that, yeah. But I'm saying if they want to keep that, if they want to keep this orange theme going. Orange Tootsie Roll would probably be a good idea for this uh, voodoo. Maybe number five will will be surprised and they'll excite us better. I'm not overall thrilled with this, man. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I'm going to give a lower rating to him. Oh, jeez. So, you know. <laughs> I gave it seven and a half. What's your... Uh, 
Dude, I'm gonna have to give this a six. Mm. That's and, a whole point and a half. I mean, Lower six is about line. as good as it's gonna get. It's as high as I'm gonna go with it, guys. Let's see, I just can't do it better than that. And that's why I'm not even gonna buy cases. I mean, it's not like the sweet tarts that we had last year, man. I, I, I bought the hell out of those last year. I enjoyed them. Those were good, you know. But this year, this wasn't wasn't creative. It just wasn't. It's like they said, well, we did such a great job with the sweet tarts. Let's just give it an orange chalky sweet tart flavor. And that's basically what they did in juice form. But I could see them changing this and making it like a pumpkin pie flavor. Like at McDonald's, they have a pumpkin pie. At least that would be along the same lines as Halloween. You want to give it kind of like a spicy, almost like, the, remember the gingerbread flavor we had that last year for Christmas? But do a pumpkin pie spice. I think that would be pretty nice. I, mean, I could go for that. That's my thoughts on it. As we uh, continue to keep uh, passing through all these drink reviews. There's many more to come. Oh, absolutely, man. I'm not stopping. It's, it's uh, infinite. <laughs> like Halo. Well, infinite. just a, just about, yeah. <laughs> just about like these Mountain Dews that just keep popping up left and right everywhere you look. You it's can't like, eat yeah, it. Every, every week it sounds like, it feels like there's something dude, to eat out. Dude, we've done so many Mountain Dew reviews. I don't even remember the last time I did an energy drink review. Yeah, and I'm right, the super we, cool energy drink dude. So we got to get back on energy drinks, guys. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you next time. That's all we have time for tonight, so uh, be sure you uh, check us out uh, and keep us in your sight. And remember to always stay true. Be cool in everything you're doing. This is your homeboy, your pal, the Super Country Drink Dude. Saying peace. peace.